Hello, let's say if you want to hide your menu on your order online page and you don't want it to show it for now, uh, perhaps you're having a, a grand opening soon or you haven't fully opened yet and you want to hide the order online menu. So again, the order online page is all the items uh, imported from your Clover. <clears throat> so let's say you want to hide some of these items. Um, what you can do is, uh, uh, sorry, let's say you want to hide your order online page. You don't want this to appear. You can actually do that. So you go in the back end and uh, click on pages here. Click on all pages and then find the order online page. Press edit. Okay, and then what you would do is you would go to, uh, sorry, you first uh, press, okay, give it a few seconds for it to load here. Okay, so pr make sure this arrow is pointed down so you can see the content here. And then click where it says text. And it, this is the short code for the order online page. So what you would do is you simply hide it, okay? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say, I'll say online ordering coming soon. Okay, I'm going to put this for now. I'm going to make this bold. I'll make this into a red color. And then hide this. Online ordering put two eyes here let me remove one of them okay so again this is the part that you want to make sure not to lose it's called move all items so you can you can copy it and then, and then email it to yourself or put in a notepad because uh, if you want your menu to appear again you have to put this short code in it's called a short code okay so for now I'm gonna just delete it again uh, if you lose it just type it exactly like how it is so again it's it's just like this it'll be uh, the following type it this way so what you do is you press uh, next to the letter P, uh, you'll see a symbol that is a forward bracket, and then put MU, all items. And MU stands for Merchant Tech Online Order, and then uh, close it in like that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and delete it for now. I'm just going to delete it. And then let me make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to press update now. So whenever you want your order online page to appear again, all you do is come back here. Oh, actually, let me make that into a white color because it's not showing correctly. Okay, so I'm going to highlight it and then choose a white color. And I'm going to put this in the center. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Okay, so that's how you hide it. Okay, I'm going to refresh the page now. And there you go, online ordering coming soon, okay? So let's say uh, a week later or two weeks later uh, or a few days later you want, you want your uh, order online page to appear again. What you can do is go back in the back end, click on the text here and then paste back in that information. So again, when you click on here, there's a white uh, message here, so you may want to delete that. And then here's what you do. You would put the code back in, and now your menu will show up again. Okay, perfect. Let me refresh the page now. Now I remove that, and now it's coming again. So again, the reason why it says online ordering currently closed is because of the business hours. So again, that's over here. Go to Clover Orders. Uh, settings store settings uh, business hours see how it says uh, uh, closed uh, so you may want to um, change that so your uh, business hours it doesn't show as closed so on your clo on you go to clover.com then go to the setup app business information and change the hours over there Okay, and you can also allow your customers to schedule their orders. Um, allow customers uh, allow schedule order, orders when the store is closed, so people can order when you are closed, but they can't. Uh, they can only choose a time around your business hours. I'm going to leave this off for now. Okay, perfect. Let me go ahead and uh, 
save changes here. Okay, so that's how you hide your menu from appearing on the website until you are ready to um, until you're ready to make it uh, until you're ready to uh, to have it shown on the website. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good day.